Good evening. Welcome to the Inner Astral Peace Broadcast. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to a new episode of Inner Astral Peace Broadcast. We are here to bring you the latest news from across the galaxy. Signal transmissions from Eurelo 6 have been detected. This could mean that there are still survivors on the icy planet. The Omen Vanguards have warned the Sigmar 3 galaxy about the potential spread of malignant silicone-eating bacteria. The armed archaeologists of the Intelligentsia Guild have discovered a miniature galaxy on Helm. Further investigation is being conducted. It has been confirmed that the Cremators are responsible for the whole Stein aphasia. Galaxy Rangers have announced that they are working on retrieving stolen memories and that the investigation is ongoing. Let's take a closer look at the details. A sales rep from the Urillo branch of the Inner Astral Peace Appliances told us that signal transmissions have been detected from Urillo 6, a planet that has been sealed under heavy snow for over 700 years. The IPC responded promptly and performed an analysis on the signals. The message that the signals contain states that the natives of the planet have survived the catastrophe that happened many amber eras ago and recently received help from a group known as the Nameless, which allowed them to put an end to the eternal freeze. The IPC has sent out investigators to assess the situation on Eurelo 6. Let us hope the survivors can return to the path of preservation as soon as possible. The Omen Vanguards recently reached out to the IPC and warned about the spread of a certain strain of bacteria. Members from the Vanguards have asked the IPC to alert the residents that there are signs of an outbreak of a malignant silicone-eating bacteria in Sigmar 3. The bacteria had previously been seen proliferating in Molus 2. Experts from the Intelligentsia Guild suggest that this type of bacteria can peel off the silicone atoms stored in the vast majority of silicates and silicone compounds via violent biochemical reactions. It will then use these silicone atoms to duplicate itself. In this process, the bacteria will generate a membrane that is highly corrosive. When not handled properly, this type of bacteria can pose a serious hazard to health and safety. The IPC calls upon the leaders of mechanical life forms in Sigmar 3 to take action Oops. to contain the bacteria and safeguard public health. The spokesperson of the armed archaeologists under the Intelligentsia Guild stated in a recent press conference that a squad dispatched to Helm has discovered a miniature galaxy in a cave located near the planet's southern tropical latitudes. The squad was conducting demolition missions on certain mountain ranges when they discovered a curious facility in the shape of a container. After investigation, the squad was convinced that there was a subspace field within the facility and confirmed its function. The squad leader told the IPC that the subspace field they had discovered was in fact a miniature artificially made galaxy and that they were fairly certain that it was still populated as they spoke. As of now, the squad has been carrying out further work in an attempt to contact the galaxy's residents. We will bring you more updates on this developing story as they become available. A member of the Galaxy Rangers who wishes to remain anonymous claims that the cremators are behind the Holstein aphasia that occurred in early 2157 AE. Research from reliable sources suggests that certain criminal groups snatched all the memories relating to language from the residents of Holstein via unconventional means. The residents of Holstein have since lost the ability 
to produce speech. To this day, the Holstein galaxy remains silent. There is some good news, though. With the help of the IPC, the residents of Holstein have learned to communicate through written language. And this is the end of our broadcast. Please tune in for our next episode. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.